I'm back with my third video. As you know, I am Arnami Mitra. I'm a digital specialist engineer at Infosys. So here it's my third video of this series. Uh, in the previous videos, I have discussed how memorization technique is better than recursion and how we can do uh, we can use overlapping sub problem to solve any problem and what is top down and bottom up approach so in the third video i have taken a medium problem from lit code that is 357 problem uh, count number of numbers with unique digits so here the problem statement is pretty clear and simple it's saying we have an integer n and we have to count all the numbers with unique digits x where uh, x is greater than equals to 0 and less than 10 to the power n uh, so when value of n is 0 we can have only one option that is 10 to the power 0 is 1 so x can be only 0 now when value of n is 2 we can have from any number from 0 to 99 and as you can see we can't take 11 22 33 because there are repetition of the digits so I have prepared a slide to describe you uh, here uh, for example, I have taken this thing when value of n is 1. So, when value of n is 0, we have only one case. Now, if we think for the current one, suppose uh, value of uh, what can be the possible values when x is uh, greater than or equals to 1 and less than 10, there are 9 possible cases. So, total case will be 10. Uh, similarly, if the value is 2 i mean we can take up to 99 so we have already one digit numbers we have z, uh, one sorry zero and one to nine we have already uh, stored so there are 10 numbers we already calculated so to make a digit uh, so make a two digit number we have a one digit number and after that beside that we can add any number for example from one we can create 10 11 up to 19 similarly from 2 we can create 20 to 29 now the there is only one condition we can't take repetition so if there is 1 we can't make 11 if there is 2 we can't make 22 so from 1 we can have 9 choices from 10 to 19 we only remove that 11 so we can add 0 2 3 up to 9 beside that Similarly, for all these 9 values, we have 9 more choices. So, total there will be 81 choices. So, final value will be 1 plus 9 plus 81. That is 91. So, it's pretty clear. We already have the values of previous problems. We want that. And from the previous problems, we will be deriving the current values. So, we will use bottom-up approach here. It's clear. Now, the question is how will we using the previous values and which values are useful so as you can see from the previous slide from this 9 we are deriving 81 values now when value of uh, n is 3 so we can have values from 0 to 999 suppose uh, we already have the values from uh, 0 to 99 that is 91 possible cases now to make a digit 3 digit because that is only up to 2 digit numbers no, now we want to make 3 digit number we will add to that sum suppose we have 10 so we have now 8 choices because we already used 2 digits we can't take those so now we have 8 choices now when we will make this 4 digit we have three unique values we can't take those three so we will have seven choices and by this it will go on so here i have prepared a table up to four i have showed how is this going and we have to return the sum up to four like if we have we have n equals four we will return this one plus nine plus eighty one plus six four eight plus four five three six so i will show you the code which i have done i have created a dp array of size 9 because uh, we are given the value of n can be up to 0 to 8 so that's clear like we can have 8 digit 
up to that so that is clear so we can create an array up to nine uh, array of length nine and i have put uh, previous two values as uh, for the zero eighth index it will be one and for one first index it will be nine and if value of n is zero we will simply return the value and i have already created the sum as 1 plus 9 10 which i have already stored here now the procedure will start from 2 to n and we know for the uh, for the second time i mean when the value of n is 2 we are multiplying the previous value with 9 so we have taken a variable called v and uh, initialize its value with 9 now for every step we will do this thing dp of i will be dp of i minus 1 into v minus minus and it is that is post decrement operation so it will uh, multiply it with 9 and then decrease to 8 and for the next step it will multiply it with 8 and will decrease and i have taken the sum from first like sum value is already 10 and it will keep on doing the sum until uh, n and it will clearly uh, return the sum so here is the code though it's medium level question uh, i feel it's very easy if, if we know the logic and it's only uh, very like uh, it's only 17 line code which i have uh, did so i will uh, give the link of this code and i will ask you guys to solve uh, this code and let me know how you have solved and i will also recommend you to try this without using any array we can simply uh, can have one variable and uh, do this process like we are only using the previous value so we can have two variables and one variables to doing the uh, storing the current value and one variable to do the previous value so i will suggest you to do this without using any array and do the steps and if you like this video and my explanation so please like share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.